is up guys welcome back to DeFi, degen strip and farm for poverty where our mission is to empower the impoverished and help you create financial freedom through crypto assets and if you like that mission you resonate with that vision smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another video um, so that we can continue to grow this channel and like i said try to make an impact um, if uh, like I mentioned, if uh, we can grow this member, this community, this population to about 250 people or 25 underneath my direct referral link, that's when we're going to start to try to get those people to donate one claim per month. That's not your entire portfolio. That's literally one out of 30 claims. So if you're able to claim uh, 0 0.01 drip per day, that's 0 0.01 out of the month. And if drip is worth 100 bucks, that's literally $1, guys. So it is not going to break the bank, but it can make a difference in somebody else's life, and that's what this is all about. And I know that together, if we grow this community, we can actually really, truly make an impact. And I'm bullish on all the projects by Forex. So um, right now, all the markets are in the grid, and nobody's making any money. There's just a lot of uncertainty and doubt. But that does not change the fact that there are uh, millions, if not billions of people around the world that are even worse off during these times than we are. And that's why I created this channel and why I created this page. So uh, today, just going to go over how you can get started if you want to join the drip community or even do this on your own. So even if you don't want to get in the drip, maybe you think it's too risky and you're like, screw that, but you want to donate to a great cause, then by all means, you can follow the link in the description. I'm going to show you the Cambodian Children's Fund as well as the page that I created for the Drip for Poverty campaign. So this is the link that's gonna be in the description. And basically it'll take you here and you can read a little bit about what we're trying to do. This is the same video that's on the YouTube channel. Um, and then this tells you why I partner with Cambodia Children's Fund. Um, this is from their mission, uh, from their page. Their mission is transforming the most impoverished children into tomorrow's leaders. Uh, that's very similar to what I said about mining for astronauts, the very next Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Madam Curie, um, Dalai Lama, whoever it is, could literally be sitting outside my doorstep um, making noise <laughs> that they do on a daily basis, playing on my front gate. Um, but they don't realize the potential that they have locked inside because no one has ever shown them a life outside of the streets they're growing up on. And therefore, they will never know that they can reach further and farther beyond that. And that is what these organizations actually do. They remove these kids from the streets, from poverty, put them into school. They built schools and then they teach them not only English, but, you know, the basic skill sets. But um, they're also now moving into um, kind of the tech space. So there's um, new universities and schools that they bought are created, I should say, that are teaching coding and web development and sciences and stuff like that. So, man, that's awesome. A lot of these kids have gone and got scholarships and whatnot. So if we can be a part of that journey and just help a few, then, man, that's um, super exciting. So um, this is the website, like I said. You can take the pledge. Basically, you click this link and then it'll ask you a couple of questions on a Google form. No monetary amount is being transferred. It just literally asks, did you read the website? Do you want to take part? Take do you uh, are you on the team? Did you join the drip? Things of that nature. And then this is a little bit about me and what I've done. And then if you're curious, you can go straight to CCF homepage, which I already have up here and you'll learn about CCF. So what happened is um, the creator or owner, um, his name Scott something, it's not here, I can't remember, but uh, he basically was in Cambodia and um, he was, Scott Neeson, there he is, he was um, walking around and he went and visited a uh, Stungman Che garbage dump. So he was a former movie studio exec and he was uh, visiting a garbage dump, uh, taking a kind of like you could say a tour people show different areas of Phnom Penh when you come and visit they'll show you the uh, killing fields that happen the uh, genocide museum and all this stuff like that and one of the places also that's kind of like on the outskirts is this garbage dump where literally they're just dumping trash from the city they don't have a good way to get rid of it but there are people who live on this dump so it's uh, huge acres of of land and what the people do is they go through the trash to try to find recyclables or even uh, clothes or things of that nature 
to kind of basically make a living. So long story short, this guy, Scott Neeson, former exec from Hollywood, saw this and he ran into this little girl and her mom and the little girl basically, or the um, translator said that the little girl's mom was sick and they needed some money for her for the hospital and that's why she was there collecting um, some bottles and things that nature to recycle. And Scott wanted to see what he could do. He found out it took like as little as 50 bucks to actually get help for this mom and her daughter to go to the hospital, get medication and get better within like seven days. And then when he went back home, he couldn't help but realize how easy it was to make an impact, but yet how um, difficult it was for these people. So like 50 bucks for him, which is a drop in the bucket. So he basically quit the Hollywood scene, talked to a couple of his investor friends, moved back to Cambodia and decided he wanted to do this full time. And what he started doing was trying to educate the kids. So he started with the most at risk so bringing them into schools, he would actually bus them or van them from the dumps to schools. And that worked for a little while until it didn't because what would happen is the families would actually pull the kids back or wouldn't allow them to go because they needed the kids to actually support the financial um, livelihood of the family, meaning they needed them to either go sell fruits and vegetables or to help pick through the trash or whatever the case may be for recyclables. So um, it's literally they're unable to live day to day unless they have as many people as possible to generate this two dollars three dollars a day so scott had to redo his entire approach and that meant um basically subsidizing the families of the kids so he'll basically give rice and some food to the families that would allow their kids to go to school and then from there the kids were actually able to get education and move on go to graduate some of them actually came back and worked in the actual foundation, Cambodia Children's Fund, and started teaching other kids. And it's just been paid forward. Like it's been um, 2,000 students so far that have gone through this thing. Uh, many have gotten scholarships and they just continue to move forward, grow and develop together. And you can see just the transitions where these kids, this would have been the life they knew. And then they've gone on to go to school, learn English, pick up careers. Some are in the military. <laughs> Some have gone on to be like flight attendants and stuff, man. It's just super empowering. So anyway, long story short, my goal, what I want to do is actually yeah, sponsor a kid. So they have this uh, option here on the website. And I'm hoping to, again, get a couple drippers together to where we can support and sponsor a kid. And it's literally as little as $250 a month um to sponsor one of these kids and they update the website periodically with new kids and so you can just pick one for example let's go here four-year-old chan in kindergarten and if you pick sponsor you can go straight to the donation page where they ask you 150 dollars for chan so some of them are 250 150 so yearly it's 1800 bucks so literally again one claim we can get like 1000 drippers calculator that would be my goal actually my goal at the end of the year is 250 so i'd like to have 250 drippers and let's say everybody is by the end of the year has 100 drip in their account and they're claiming one a day that one drip is worth 100 bucks then we now have twenty five thousand dollars so that's an insane amount to help support uh one and a half kids <laughs> That's not right, is it? 25,000 divided by 1,800. There we go, 13 kids. So my goal was 10, I think, but that would be by the end of the year. But this can be done periodically. And again, you don't even have to join the community if uh, you're not a DeFi DGen, but you're just watching this channel and you're curious about it. You can literally come and do it on your own straight here with a credit card. But my goal is actually to, once we build up the community, I want to go to and I want to record this and show you guys so it's transparent, but I'm going to actually go to CCF, talk to some of their marketing um, people that work there and find out who uh, can be responsible for basically creating a digital wallet so that you will know this wallet is created and owned by the uh, Cambodian Children's Fund. And that will be the one wallet that where the funds will go. So it will not go directly to me. It will literally go straight into the hands of the people that need it most. And that would be Cambodian Children's Fund. Then I also know of a couple of mission missionaries or uh, 
ministries, I should say, that go out into the provinces here. Like they go out and uh, provide food and water and actually build wells. So another project after this would be to actually literally go out into the provinces where these people actually live and find someone in the community and educate them, get them to actually create a digital wallet. This would be so awesome. So walk them through the process. They're not going to be putting money into it, um, but we will be able to have them on their phone, create a MetaMask wallet, uh, get signed up with Binance get registered, and then be able to actually send money directly to their wallet. So we'd want to find someone in charge of a community or maybe a mom with a bunch of kids. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, literally just creating these little pockets of wealth, man. This would be so fucking awesome to be able to do that and then follow up on these people in three months, six months, go out and talk to them. I'll have to get a translator because I do not speak Khmer, but be able to see how they're going and see. So you'll be able to see firsthand how your contribution is making an impact directly on someone's life that you will be able to interact with um, or see at least uh, on video but um, I think that'd be so cool it'd be like um, a real world uh, case you study where DeFi actually uh, can provide um, economic support to people from all over the world from different locations into one central location and then i want this to be a catalyst so i hope that other people will see what we're doing and then they'll build their own little communities and stuff for other places like i said man you know a uh, place in africa in india you know in the middle east there are tons of impoverished locations around the globe where DeFi can be the solution and it's not necessarily just just uh, drip this is just the one that i've done the most research on and that i have personally getting invested in that i've told my friends and family about so um, it's the one that I feel will uh, lead the charge. There will be others. I know crypto is so new, um, but this is just the one that I'm supporting. And worst case scenario, again, it doesn't work, but we all tried to make a difference and, you know, um, we'll learn from it and then find another project later. So it's this is just the beginning, guys. So, again, if you resonate with the mission and the vision, uh, please join the team. Uh, the link is in the description as well for the Telegram. Trying to grow the Telegram group. There's literally only like five people in the group right now. Um, but I would love to grow that community and answer any questions that you have. Let you know why I got started. Um, literally, like I said, I, j I started everything in Drip, the YouTube channel and everything, less than a month ago now. So if you're curious about you know this whole journey and doing your own thing and getting started for yourself, then I'll be happy to share the insights, lessons learned, so you don't have to make the same mistakes and you can grow that much faster than me. So anyway, guys, thanks for popping in. Until next time, as always, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya.